two weeks to Davidson County in North Carolina and a home that's tobacco country's answer to Ireland's stone castles. Four beds, three baths, and 5,500 square feet for the kids to run around in. There's even enough space for the in-laws to stay overnight. Mm. It really was a dream summer. Jason was working really hard. Tony Turner says Jason was the king of the cul-de-sac. He was very cool. Yeah. He was real hard. Loved by everyone. Mm -hmm. The gentle Irish giant. He was good. Meanwhile, the kids, now six and four, are thriving. Jack Corbett swings a mean bat on the Little League team. Young Sarah is the social butterfly, always impeccably dressed. When they made friends immediately, it was like a wonder woman. Molly's got it all, except one thing. Jason is refusing to make her the children's legal mother. At that time, I felt like he was actually going to follow through with the adoption papers and that you know, I would try to confident about securing my rights to the children. Instead, Molly says Jason is feeling addicted to the mother and the He was very controlling, he was very possessive. The first few months, he just kind of pushed me up. in just various forms of controlling behavior. We would come in, see her phone, look at her computer history, that sort of thing. Molly says the fights were escalated, and she says the kids... All the way down there? What the fuck are they doing? ...recollection when he was later evaluated by a social worker. Mm -hmm. become more frequent or more extreme. Everything became more frequent and more extreme except for the apologies. They became less frequent and less extreme. If you're thinking Molly should pack a bag and run, oh, she said she considered it. She visited a lawyer who told her to document any abuse, which she did, and confirmed to his audio recording. Decides she doesn't need another man bossing her around. 
wasn't going to interfere in Molly's marriage. That was Molly's marriage. A marriage, she said, it only gets worse when the lights go out. Sometimes he would be angry and choking me would turn into something sexual. Or sometimes the other way around. So he would choke you in anger and sometimes he would choke you during sex. Did that scare you? Everything always felt so real and so scary in the moment when it was happening. Did you ever pass out? I did. Her pedo always made me think of her pedophobia. Wonder if that's what happened to her. Max Fitzpatrick, who suffered from asthma, died in the middle of the night. The official cause? A heart attack. But Tom Martin remembers a startling conversation he says he once had with the dead woman's father. It was Mikey Fitzpatrick. And um, I thought I was just making polite chit chat, polite conversation. I said, What do you think about this? His response was, I think he killed my dog. I go, Well, I'm not really expecting that. From Ireland, the Fitzpatrick family later denied the conversation ever happened. But Molly had heard the same allegation. At some point, it was suggested that Jason may have killed his first wife, but perhaps it wasn't an accident. Yes, he definitely was. And prior to that, I mean, I, I knew that. What? You know, the first time and the second time and the third time and the 20th time that you are suffocated or strangled or someone puts their hand over your mouth or a pill over your face and you can't breathe for an extended period of time. You know, you think, oh, well, you know, this first wife died at 3 o'clock in the morning and maybe that's going to happen to me. Coming up, something very bad is about to happen. He's already gone this far and he's going to kill us. Detail of a deadly night. Return. Bring in the new year with a new way to cook with your new phones and tablets. Sobalisha, the Food Network Kitchen app. With step by step classes and tons of quick and easy recipes, get ready to cook smarter and faster. It's easy this year. Explore food in a whole new way. Download the app and sign up today. Let's take a quick coffee break. Oh, let's go. Following the direction. That's not that person. Or, yeah. It takes being a good listener. Depends on how patient we are and what pocket we keep six dollars in. 
Arby's fish sandwiches, two for six. Arby's, we have the meat. I'm your mother-in-law. And I like to question you every time. Make this left turn. You're a drive this slow. Yeah, so you can't tell me. I'm just a lawyer who said, wait, I do not steal. And I have to say, I'm the cash for five. Yeah, what's up? You did say that you were going to say five.